Hello, my name is Albert. I am going to demonstrate how to dirty up my trailer for a junkyard. And I hope this comes out good because I've been practicing it. But as you see, I have painted this trailer which comes off of the short bed hauler and I'm going to use it as an office. So what I've did, I've customized the door. I put hinges on it, made me a little door there with wood and some paper. And I turn around and put a paper window on it because cutting this is not that easy, not a good choice. And it just, this works just as good. And then I made one on the end out here. Here's another window. This is all going to be all trashed up. And then I glued a few signs on here. And you see these are these are signs, paper, with metal, glued to a Coca-Cola can that, that I cut up with scissors and copied the decals off of and I shot bullet holes in them, stuff like that and glued them on here, rusted them up and glued them on. And on the inside so far as you see, not too much on the inside, this door works too. On the inside there is a heater that I put in there and there's another one of those signs and I'm going to use that as an office and then we're, but we're going to dirty this up. And that's why I wanted to show you how to dirty it up. And I'm testing this. And one thing that everybody might be interested in, let's put this over here for right now, is I got all kinds of cutting boards that I play with. And one of them I like particularly is naturally this one, but then I got a big 18 by 20 that I, uh, a 15 by 20 that I really like. It's, it's a, um, well, here it is. It's the big cutting board. And I set up here when I'm cutting and painting and doing everything like that. And then I can pick this up and move it wherever I want to, to one of my other tables while I'm working on something else. And that's when I get into heavy stuff. And I want to be level and straight. Then, but then I went down to the dollar store, thanks to Chris Chapman and Dr. Cranky. I watched their videos and I learned that I can use a lot of things at the dollar store. And one of the things I like real, real good is this little chopping mat. As you can see there's not much to it, it's just a chopping mat. And I get it at the dollar store, two of them for a dollar. You can cut on them, you can paint on them, you can do whatever you want to. And I thought I'd try them. Well, I bought a couple packages of them and I use them very much because as I say on a project like this you don't want to mess this up too much even though you can clean it this stuff here it's on it's already is water washable but then I found out if I put this down like this you can only see through it if you tape it and you can use it for a measure you can put this on it and you can paint it and everything like that and when it's getting ready to dry you go like that and you slide this back and you can slowly pick it up like that and take it to another spot and let's set and continue working on something else here while this is dry and that is one of the things I like about it. it's thin uh, not too good for cutting because it will cut through on an exacto knife but it, the blade does stop it if you don't push too hard to where it won't cut through uh, for modelers I think it's a real good tabletop thing to use to keep your clean. And I'm going to have to redo this video because I can't talk, obviously. But anyway, I'm just this is just a test to see how this is going to work. And I'm reading, arranging my model desk too. I'm going to add a few things, take a few things. But right now we're going to concentrate on doing this. And the way I do this is I take, get these little things, you can get these at Walmart, you get a whole bunch of them. I think it's four bucks for different ones. Washable, because everything I use is water soluble from most of my paint jobs now. And then I bought this little interesting thing down there at the dollar store for a dollar. As you see, it's different sponges. See the little sponges on there? Well, Dr. Cranky and Chris Chapman showed me how to use the sponges. 
and they usually use a big block of sponge that you find foam sponge and they find it. Well, I went there and I looked at this and I said, that is just right because you can take one of these and go like this and take your, you can pull it out if you want to, yeah, just like that. And you got a perfect little thing for your fingers to dab paint in. And just like that, you can dip it in there and you can splotch this stuff on like this all over you want to. It's a little foam and when you get done, you can throw it away and pick another one. Or sometimes what I do is like if you see these, when I'm dirtying up stuff, instead of using so many, because sometimes I quit, sometimes I come back, I just throw them in a little bit of um, my thinner that I use, which is um, windshield washer solvent that I get at the dollar store. And I use that as a thinner, and I put these in it, and let them soak for eh, five, ten minutes, and I take them on, I wring them out, and they'll come out like this, and you can reuse them again if you use that color. And uh, so I just reuse them until I'm done with the project, and I throw them away, and then I start a new one. I grab this and pull a couple more off. But for a dollar, it's a very good value. It's served many purposes. If you really want to get wild, you dip this in the paint, go plop, 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 plop. Not a bad idea to I may work, I may do that. Hmm. But anyway, that is that part there, and I hope that helps you a little bit, some of you modelers out there. Um, it has helped me quite a bit. Excuse me, I gotta turn on the fan. Just a little bit of air, it's getting a little warm in here. So we shall start. And when we start, this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you the paints I use. Here is a, these are all craft paints too, by the way. And here is a ash gray. And this one here is, is called rust red. Interesting color. And this one here is called rusted pipe. That comes out pretty good. I use that on wood and stuff and it looks like a real wood workbench. I'll show you that in a little bit too. And here is the one that is the best of all and it's called Brown Oxide by Cracker Barrel. Apple Barrel, Cracker Barrel, whosoever, whatever barrel it is. But anyway, it's Brown Oxide. I know I'm not supposed to mention that, so sorry about that. First time. Won't do it again. And this is you will use plenty of this on rusting cars. Very good with this application. And then I turn around and I look at here and I got a yellow flame. Okay, that's crash paint, the yellow. I'll show you that for rusting, which I think I'm doing right. And that's that's all I got to do with this little project right now. I got many, many more. But that's what I use on this. And we will see how this works out. Okay, first of all, you take, I'm going to take the gray, push it back a little bit, shake it up to it. And you see I already got some gray and brown, I've already used all these colors on another project, and I'm just reusing it. So you take the gray and pour a little bit in, you won't take much. That's really more than I need, but, uh, well, yeah, I can use that. And get some, a supply of paper towels and some water for cleaning or Windex for cleaning. Right back there, and then you take this. This is the windshield washer fluid. And you take a little bottle like that, and you go flip, flip, about two, maybe three drops. Put that over there, and you take a little bit of stir, and let that soak a little bit, and you just stir it up just like that. And that stirs up really nice there. You get it stirred up pretty good. And 
and I recommend putting on gloves too because when you paint paint it still gets on your hand and gets everything dirty and you have to wash them off and if you use gloves especially I get the at the dollar store now so this little project is really really interesting I will get it and be right back At the dollar store, I have to find these little packages of gloves. I have the best gloves in the world, but for this stuff is great. It's called Disposable Gloves Gantz Jettables. And they are a hundred to a pack. And they cost, and they're called Scrub Buddies. It's a tough, clean job. And they're over there in the cleaning section of the dollar store, dollar tree store where we got here. I keep saying dollars, not general dollars, dollar tree store. But anyway, these are in there and they're bucked for a dollar. One size fits all and there's a hundred to a pack. And we'll just pull a couple out of here. And you see how they are. They're very, very uh, thin. But they protect your hands and they do take a little bit of punishment. It's not expensive, they're cheap, and sometimes they're hard to get on. Sometimes they just, my fingers just slide right in. And that's it. And there you go. Here we are protected. As I say, it's not the best, but for water paints and stuff like that, yeah, I found it to be very, very useful. I've got my other big ones when I go out to put paints and stuff like that. I don't need to do that to get my fingers tight. See how they snug down a little bit. There you go. Dollar store, dollar tree store. Very nice, very nice. And as you see, this is all stirred up. It's nice now. And I will take this, wipe it off. Wipe it off and then take that, oh, and take that little sponge I just tore right there. So you take that off and you dip it in. Okay, you get a little bit of soap right there. Just sort of wipe it off a little bit. And then you don't need a bunch of this. And you take this, this is the important part. This is the problem. You take this sponge and you go over to the paper towel and adapt That's all you need right there. And I already started this in the back, as you can see. And all you do is just go along here, wipe it like that, real lightly. Don't do it heavy. You don't have to do it heavy. You just stop. You just dab it around. Just smear it up like that. Just a little bit. Just smear it up. Incidentally, this is, this is painted with a white primer. And I like to use the. Uh, a good white primer base for this, and I don't use this primer that I use all the time. It is, um, oh, I have to go get the can, but anyway, it's white primer, two times the primer. Rust Oleum puts it out, and it's a very good primer. Works on the model real good, covers a lot of stuff. You can sand it, take out scratches, fill in it, fill it, feel a little filling, stuff like that. You can this with this, see? Well, that's dirtied up on that side. I'm going to do this up here a little bit, not much. You know, door two. And you dab it around like that, see? Just dab, 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 dab. dab. Make a very interesting mark on the door, even though you're not going to see it, but somebody might see it because this is actually going to be blocked. And you just dab like that, just a few circles of the gray. And you do another little section. And now you come out to the front and you just easily dab it, just go along like that thing, just that. Lucky thing, this has got ribs on, which makes it real nice for the sponge. And as I say, you can sponge everything if you want to. Just kind of dirty it up a little bit. It looks like it's been sitting in a junk for a while, and you don't really look that good. And it makes all the world a difference. 
when somebody comes out with a newspaper that time, who watches it? You look in here. Where is the door a little bit with this back and forth? Maybe I'll look at that right here. So I know that looks like that's the best yard right there, and that's just that's just the first thing I'm over here at this point though. Oh, you know, that one up here, left up here a little bit. The signs are already dirty, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Let me just do this over here. Blend, sort of blend everything and just in like that. And you see that makes it, makes it look like it's been sitting out there for several years. Let's say all you're doing is just dabbing this stuff on it, or you might rub a little bit on it. Just dabbing it does a good job. Of course, you want to get the doors, they're not all nice and clean either. Thank you. 